Hey guys, so, uh, bit of bad news. Not entirely sure what happened, but I logged on and it said that I was killed by a corrupted raptor. And it sounded like he broke a lot of my stuff. I think I see my, yeah, my pteranodon, oh god. My pteranodons are attacking it, it looks like. Oh my god, why are there so, why are there so many? And why are they in here? We, we are, why did I whistle? We're nowhere near no man's land. These guys should not be here. One of the Tranodons is almost dead. That was probably the lower level one. Yep, it's dead. Wait, no, that was the higher level one. Seriously? Oh my fuck. And now they're attacking my base. You've got to be shitting me. Where did they even come from? Like, everything is gone. Everything. I'm, I'm, li I'm literally... I'm... It's, it's as if I've just started again. What the fuck happened? And, like, how am I supposed to deal with these guys now? They must have came from up... There. I didn't think they wandered down this far. Is there any stuff that I can grab? They're staying over there. What? Hello? Was that... That must have been the element... thing. Because I thought that music played when drops happen, because it, it seems, it often happens after there's a drop, but I guess it's for the element areas, element veins, I think they're called. That sounded close, that either happened up above, or it happened somewhere over there. I am really sad now. Like, what am I, what am I supposed to do now? That Tranodon's still over there. There's still... Those raptors might have wandered off and attacked something else. Nope, they're still over there. Can I... Can I, like... What am I supposed to do now? This was my stuff. Okay, that noise, I... I think somebody is doing a drop. I think that's what that music was. Maybe I'll build a shack up over there instead. But now that I look at it, I didn't think we were that close, but I guess right over there is no man's land and they probably wandered down <coughs> from over there. God, this is so shitty. Okay, I need to grab some of the wood out of this. How much time do I have? 23, 23... I have like a half hour for each. I've I've lost my tames. Probably to just save my stuff, I'm gonna start with like a little four by four. That was completely made out of thatch, so I'm actually kinda not surprised that they destroyed the building. Or the little little shack that I had. What is that fish doing? I don't think that's how you swim. So yeah, let's maybe like bring it this way some. Like right here should be good. I am actually like depressed that this has happened. At least most of my shit saved. Or uh, most of my items are saved. Oh, the raptors. Oh, the raptors left for something. I am short on what? Oh my god. Wait, so you have to do the element veins just like drops? Yeah, I said in the last episode I was going to just like grind and get a bunch of stuff. I think I'm going to have to do that again. Um, I might try and tame a couple more pteranodons and uh, don't think I'll show that on video. I'll just uh, get two pteranodons back. I guess my otter's gone, so I won't really worry about an otter anymore. I'm just gonna gather a bunch of materials, 
as you can see, some of my tools already were leveled up. Like I have a metal pick and a metal axe. So yeah, I I, I, I got everything over here. I'm, I'm just kind of lost at this point. I'm just like amazed that that happened. Now we're just back to where we started, you know? Good old arc screwing me over. But anyways, like I said, I'm gonna grind to where I was before and to uh, where I wanted to be for this episode. And we'll go from there, I guess. I just I'm I'm speechless right now. But anyways, I'll I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys. Well, I think I am ready to go tame a stego. I have some narcotics on me. I have quite a few narcotic arrows. Um. I have weapons. I don't really have armor yet, but we'll get there. Uh, I don't think I've learned the engrams for the armor yet, but getting berries for narcotics in general is becoming a slow process now. It uh, I'm at the point now where I, like, if I'm able to tame a stego and make the process quicker, why not? Um, I still only have one pteranodon, but as you can see, I have upped my defenses by a lot. Um, I know these are just wooden, but I mean, it'll do the trick. Uh, we still won't be protected from corrupted pteranodons, but I think that was kind of like a fluke that that happened. Maybe, I don't know, but nothing should really get in. I mean, maybe there, but what's really going to come from, uh, towards the center of the great city, uh, over here, there's a slight chance, but if they're big enough they shouldn't really get through here I'd say so so I think I'm gonna start off here like I said we're just gonna have our kind of like shack here and then I'm going to build over there and I have to gather mats for that because it's gonna take a lot of stone I think it's stone wood and fiber it's gonna take a lot of that like I said I need kind of the dinos first for that because I'm gonna need a dodic for the stone um, Fiber is not so much of a problem. I mean, maybe a therizino, but that could take time to get. So, right, like I said, right now we're going to get a stego for the berries and to, to make more narcotics to tame more dinos easily, I guess. Then we're going to need a dodic for stone. We're going to need an anki for metal and flint. I've actually been struggling with flint for uh, spark powder to make gunpowder. I also need the spark powder for fuel. It's like everything's tied together and it's like you just, I, I need these things now. I'm at the point where I need these things. So I think we're gonna fly over, look for a stego. 136, ooh. I kinda wanna go for that one. I just want to, okay, it's on this side. I gotta remember that's there. All right, let's start off like this. Uh oh. Ooh, get on top of this. What? You're running away already? Okay, he's kind of he's kind of kind of fast. Uh, Jesus Christ! Oh boy! Eight. That was a headshot, I guess. Oh, he did half. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Run. <laughs> Once I knock. Oh, is he running away again? In the butt. Oh, he's in water. Is he coming? Oh, shit. <laughs> when is he gonna go down? Is he gonna come back after me again, or...? Missed. There he goes. Thought this was water for a second. Come on, go down. There he goes. I think that's the second time, as soon as I say go down, he goes down. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to starve you for now. I, I think the unconscious thing should last a while, so... Alright guys, well since they are both knocked down, I am going to wait for them to starve, and I will be back with you guys once I start to tame them.
All right, guys. Well, the Anki and the where is it? Are right here? The Anki and the Stego are basically ready to go. I uh, was gonna do them one at a time, but uh, they ended up being both ready at the same time. So this guy, I believe, needs a little under a stack. Um, he should. I know he requires berry. Yeah, there he goes. It should start going up fairly quick. Um, it's still going to take a little bit, so I guess let's fly over to the Stego. But with the Stego, I have a bit of a problem. See, there's a cliff here. I know there's ramps that would probably go up to those platforms. But it's just, it's a matter of finding the way. Oh, maybe over there. But then there's a gap. There. Okay, he's still unharmed, which is good. But it does look like there's some bad things starting to show up. So this guy, I believe, needs just under 200. I said guy, it's actually a girl. I believe it said this... Uh, this Stego should be just under 200 levels, I think, after this. That's kind of cool, though. I've never really tamed a tech dino before but I like it it's green white flashes blue I don't really know what I'm gonna name it but we should fly around and take a look on how to get up and over that's gonna be kind of important maybe I can go up there and backtrack See, there's a platform here so if we follow this We can go across that. So fly this way. Yeah, I, I was looking over here, but there's a gap there. Unless. Oh, there's not a gap. It just had to. Okay. Alright, let's head over to the Anki. If it's done, I'm gonna have it follow me to the base now. Yeah, it's done. So we should be good on flint and metal now. I think I'd rather craft the stego saddle first and have me uh, ride it home kind of thing and have the pteranodon uh, follow above. And I think it'd be better that way because I'd kind of have more control, be less, less of a pain kind of. And you're exactly level 200 like I was kind of saying. Alright guys, well, we managed to make it back with both successfully. Um, probably what's next. Actually, I think I need more high, don't I? Alright guys, well, to be honest, I don't know what to name these two. So, in the comments down below, write a name for the Stego and the Anki. The Stego has some green going up uh, on its back from, from its neck to the end of its tail, really. Um, the rest of it is just metal, kinda. And then its uh, fins are white and shine blue. And then the Anki, well, it it's, it's kinda bland, I guess. So the name could be literally anything for the Anki. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. Uh, I'm actually glad that it was, wasn't was that hard to do this. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Um, that's what she said. But also, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I mean, I'm probably going to grind berries and stuff to get narcotics and up my level. And then try and get the Trank darts. Uh, I already have the gun for it and everything. And then I'm also going to try and level up these guys. Gonna, um, I think that we should try and get a Dodic next. I'm not sure exactly where to find them. I know they're around. But the other thing is... I don't think the Pteranodon can pick up a Dodic. So that makes me think we'd need to get an Argy. 
So yeah, I'll, I'll grind and, and think about that stuff, figure out what's going on. But yeah, again guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment down below for uh, names for both of these girls. And as always, bye from you. God, I hate this freaking cat.